I tell you what, it's a modern world, but some things don't change. Time of year, it's cold, it's damp, but I really do like it. And planting fruit trees, it's the same as it ever was. But looking forward to the fruit of fruit trees, that doesn't change either. Apple pie, oh, and these things are gonna produce some wonderful fruit. Fruit is beautiful. The weather's picking up a bit and it's time to get some uh, fruit trees in. Now I've got the orchard collection. These are beautiful things and they're a mixture. And I'm gonna put a cherry in today. Now these are really superb, two years old. The best quality you could possibly buy. Uh, the grafts are fantastic. And cherries, beautiful, rich red, deep purple fruit in July. Oh, you wait for these warm off the tree. I tell you what, you cannot beat it. Uh, the planting of them is as easy as can be. That's how it comes. As soon as it arrives, if you're ready for planting and the weather's uh, the right condition for you, what you need to do is put it in a bucket of water and give it a good soak for at least a couple of hours. Let it soak up overnight, it's okay, it'll do no problem. The hole, a good sized hole for the roots so that the roots can go in without being, uh, without being crushed. You'll see a mark where it was out in the field and that's the planting level that you want to go at. Try and keep it as close to that as you can and it'll fit in superbly. Now the hole, all I've done is incorporated some decent manure, some compost and some ordinary garden soil. I'm going to give this the plant the best I can. Uh, I've also sprinkled a little loose compost, fish blood and bone, just to, uh, just to give it a feed, a slow release fertiliser over a period. Half fill the hole and make sure that there's no air pockets. Plump it really well down and force it down. You don't want any air pockets at all. Make sure that's firm in the ground. With that slow release fertiliser, that will feed it. And this is going to be in this, uh, in here for two or three years and be growing away and there's plenty of food in for it. And you, you give it the best start in life that you can. And the cherries, the sweet, delicious Stella, is really the choice that I'd go for. But there's a few others, Morello. Now that's a really good one for doing some cooking. <gasps> Cooked cherries or Sunburst, recently introduced variety, which was the first self-fertile black sweet cherry. Excellent flavour and fruits in July. Now all you have to do with that uh, is just wait till July with your bowl and pick off your cherries. There's just one slight problem. I love cherries and you probably love cherries, but the birds love them even more. They will come, you'll watch them and they'll grow and they're beautiful. But all the time over your shoulder, the pigeons are watching. So keep an eye on the pigeons, get them fruit off the tree because they'll have them, they love them. These are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> 